It's my feel good breakfast show. Is your feel-good breakfast show on S3 and it is still Women's Month and this morning the conversation is about being a mom in the public eye. Now I don't know if the show is trying to prepare me for something but <laughs> I'm not there just yet because joining us in studio today is fashion, beauty and lifestyle content creator Razan Mayer who is well known as her Instagram handle as Majestic May. Mm. I mean she is so majestic we matched our outfit. <laughs> to fit her look. <laughs> now this morning she's bringing us all of the fire and force to tell us all about her social media journey as well as being able to balance it all. How her are you Royal doing? Royal Highness the Building Majestic May! We tried to oh. match the royalty. <laughs> we definitely did that. But it's great to have you with us. Thank you for having me. And uh, you were saying that the morning has been quite a rush, getting a little it one was. ready. But thank you for making the it's effort not... to be here. I mean, we're inspired by you. You, you do so many amazing things on such a great level as well that you are an inspiration to not just us but to, to so many women out there. Take me through your journey uh, um, from being a mom's model, because your mom used to film you, I understand, as yeah. you were growing up. So mom's model to now being the influential mom in so many people's lives. <laughs> I think uh, growing up, my mom used to take pictures of everything and anything. Not yeah. just like, you know, monumental moments and the milestone moments, like everything. So being in front of the camera was like a natural thing to me. Yeah. And I just started posting on Instagram and I think my online community act like they appreciated the sincerity of it. Like you could see that it was natural. It wasn't anything, it was just me literally taking pictures of myself. Yeah. So you and started by posting, did you start by posting pictures of yourself from way back when? Yeah, like I was on Facebook. I was the on embarrassing Fa ones. No. Oh. Uh, no, no, no. No, we can't do that. <laughs> she grew up in front of the camera, so it's like in her jeans that, you know, mom knows how to take photos. Yeah. She knows how to take photos. I love that. I love that. <laughs> I love that. Thank you. And I know that you've also got your own online beauty business. In fact, not online, but you've got your own beauty business and you're always looking at bringing out new and exciting products. Tell me about how was it starting that business baby of yours? Because mm. kickstarting a business yeah. is never easy. So it started about a year ago. I was all, I always liked beauty as well. And then trying to find like the proper things you and it was like a trial and error every time you try something you send it out and you're like i'm still not happy with this because like you want people to get an experience when they get your things because mm -hmm. most of the time they're probably not even buying the product they're buying the brand you know they want, they want something from me so it's not really you know wow. and then we just had to figure it out every time try something you okay no this didn't work because i would like i'd be like okay but i didn't like that if i received something like that mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, it was difficult. This is hard work. I can imagine. But you say we had to figure it out, right? So when you talk about we, who, who is the team that supports structure? Uh, my husband, always, through it all. Brilliant. Everything. You know you're on national TV right now. I know. You say the brand's name and put it out there. <laughs> this is all free advertising. <laughs> it's Majestic ZA. Wow. Oh, yes. fantastic. Thank and then you. And hubby's back there looking after little one as well. So <laughs> you're, you're an amazing team together. Uh, but tell me about, you know, your, your role, you know, you your wife, your mom, entrepreneur, inspirational woman in general, how do you balance all of these different hats to ensure that you give enough energy, effort and attention to each and every one of them? Because they're all equally important, I'm sure. I think it was, it was a natural progression for me, you know, yeah. going from a wife to a mother, it just felt normal. And like, when I was a teenager, I grew up, I grew up with my brother, so his influence on me was very big, and then my parents' unconventional ways of raising us as well. So it was just, a, it flowed. It still just flows. I and mean, you guys just make it easy and so good. <laughs> I love, you know what, I love this because I have quite a few families and mommy bloggers that I, I say mommy bloggers, but yeah. they just, they, the way they, you know, share their kids' content and involve their kids in their content, I find it fascinating. Yeah. But then being in the public eye, I'm, I, I always ask myself, is that something I will do one day when I become a mom? What have been some of the boundaries you've put in when it comes to your daughter and social media? So I try to keep everything like kid friendly with her and obviously try to protect her from everything. But there's always like, there's always that nervousness that people now know her. Like when mm -hmm. she's out with my mom, people will stop her and they're like, oh, I could and they want to take a picture with her. But she's three years old, so she doesn't understand like who is these people or whatever. And I think we're changing, the world's changing every day. Social media is part of our lives now, whether we like it or not. Mm -hmm. So trying to keep her in the times, but still protecting her as 
space back in. Yeah. Oh. And there's a saying that says, Bitole Beke Serom, which means like the name that you give to your mm. child is quite important because that's what they live up to. And your, your daughter's name is? Um, it mean, it's Kura. Kura. <laughs> yeah. And it means? Brings peace and consolation to her parents. Oh, what a wow. beautiful name. Wow. Oh. Please don't go anywhere. Stay <laughs> with us. We love having don't you Don't leave here. us. Um, of course, we are, of course, putting the spotlight on all the moms out there. It is Women's Month. We want to celebrate our mom influences, and they're going to be hanging out with us on your Feel Good Breakfast show, so don't go anywhere.